you ever feel as if you've been left out? Well, that's when it really hurts. When no one understands that you'd do a good job if you had a chance, and that you'd make good. You feel pretty low when you've been left out. And that's the way it was with Eddie Johnson. And this is his story. A story about the importance of trustworthiness. Well, hi, Eddie. Hello, Dad. What are you doing? Well, you're kind of late, and Mother was counting on you fixing this lamp. So I thought I'd better do it and have it ready. Is anything wrong, son? No. Come on, you can trust me with your troubles, can't you, Eddie? Why does everybody keep talking about trusting people? They elected Bob the treasurer of our club because he was trustworthy. And me? They put me on the cleanup committee. I wouldn't have stolen their money. What's all this about being trustworthy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It can't be that bad. Let's start from the beginning. Tell me what happened. Well, I've been in our hobby club for about three years now. And I wanted to be treasurer. I should have been, too. But at our meeting today... And this is Eddie Johnson's story. The story of a boy who had his heart set on being treasurer of his club. Of course, there wasn't any real reason for Eddie to be elected, but like most of us, he just hoped. He hoped someone would nominate him. But whose name do you think they thought of first? Bob West, one of Eddie's best friends. Jim Small was nominated too. And Mary Burns. But Eddie? Well, no one even thought to mention Eddie. And you can't nominate yourself, even when you want the job. So before Eddie knew it, the nominations were closed. And when the voting was over, Bob had won. They said he was elected because he was so trustworthy. Why should they think of Bob as trustworthy and not Eddie? Well, I'm not gonna do any work in the cleanup committee. Why should they say he's trustworthy, Dad? What's being trustworthy got to do with being a treasurer? Well, Eddie, a treasurer certainly must be trustworthy. But being trustworthy is pretty important to all of us in almost everything we do. If you think of the things you do every day, I'm sure you'll see the important part that trustworthiness plays in helping us to get along with others. Take school, for example. We all depend on teachers to fulfill their trust to the parents and all the boys and girls to do a good job of teaching, just as all the boys and girls must keep trust with their teachers to prepare their lessons every day. That's how trustworthiness is important at school. And what about trustworthiness with your friends? You're willing to lend something when you can trust a friend to return it. And your friends trust you to take good care of the things you borrow. Being trustworthy with your friends is mighty important. And how about trustworthiness with the different groups of people you meet all around you? You trust the man in the store to sell you fresh things of good quality and to deal with everyone honestly and fairly. That helps us all to live together well, doesn't it? So trustworthiness with groups is important too. Even in the home, trustworthiness makes it easier to get along. But I've never taken anything that I shouldn't have, or robbed anyone. I'm trustworthy. Well, let's see. I've always noticed that people have to show they can be trusted with little things before they can be trusted with big things. Just like, well, doing what you say you will. Like fixing the lamp, for instance? Yes, fixing a lamp, for instance. You know, Dad, come to think of it, Bob is a good choice for treasurer. I can see where he has proved his trustworthiness. I was just remembering. Just remembering. 
remembering that Bob shows he can be trusted to do little things. You can always be sure, for example, that when he says he'll prepare a class report, he'll stick to it and do a good job, even when it might be more fun to do something else. Well, that's not a very big thing, but it has helped make Bob known for being trustworthy. At the charge-out desk, Bob helps out at regular times, and he always remembers to be on the job when he's supposed to. Well, being on time may seem a little thing, too, but it's another important way to show that you're trustworthy. And everybody knows that Bob has had experience handling money and keeping accounts. People are willing to trust someone who has proved he can do the job. Yes, all these little things have given Bob a reputation for always keeping whatever trust he accepts. People do trust Bob. He deserves to be treasurer, all right. But how can I learn to be trustworthy, too? Well, by showing that he could be trusted in little things, Bob was trusted in big things, too. Perhaps that's the way. That's what I'm going to do. I guess being trustworthy is pretty important. And I'm taking that job on the cleanup committee. Good, it works. Yeah. You know, I have a lot of trusts already. Most of them little, but I never thought of them as trust before. Trust at school, at home, and I'm going to make sure I keep them. Being trustworthy includes a lot. From now on, Eddie is going to keep trust by getting to school on time. And he's going to prepare his lessons every day. Those are good ways to be trustworthy at school, aren't they? And think of the trust you have at home. Eddie is going to do a good job when he says he'll help with the work around the house. And he'll make sure to take good care of all the things he's responsible for. That's the way to be trustworthy at home, isn't it? How about being trustworthy with friends? Well, after this, when Eddie wants to borrow something from friends, he's going to be certain they know he'll return it, and he'll take good care of it. That's one way to be trustworthy with your friends. And what about groups? Well, Eddie has a trust with the hobby club to do his job, but sometimes cleaning up is much fun. Why not play darts instead? No one around, no one would know the difference. The cleaning could be done later. But what was that dad said? People have to show they can be trusted with little things if they want to be trusted with big ones. That's right. From now on, Eddie can be counted on to keep his trust with groups. That's the way a good group keeps going. Each member must keep trust. Hi, Eddie. What do you got there? A chart on trustworthiness with all the things we talked about on it. I've been finding out how important trustworthiness really is. And you know, Dad, you can find it everywhere. The things you do and... And look, Dad, here's what trustworthiness means. Here's what you have to do. To be trustworthy, keep your word, play fair, do a good job, and be on time. That sounds very good, Eddie. And you know, Dad, it really works. I've been offered the job at the library desk in our club room. That's the job Bob had before he became treasurer. Well, that's how Eddie Johnson learned something about trustworthiness. And what about you? Do you always keep your trusts? Remember, when you show you're trustworthy in little things, you'll be trusted with big things. And that's the way gain a reputation for being trustworthy.